Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. This is our weekly rundown of events, updates, and beautiful stuff happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation, and also Blender as an app. And this week, we have a set of things that you guys may want to check out. Starting off, if you will go over to the Blender Experimental branch, you would notice that there's a huge set of experimental stuff that is currently available right now that you can download and work with. Most of these things are still in the experimental stage. It doesn't mean that it has made it to the main build. Now, you can test this, play with them, explore, report bugs, and this will only help make Blender better. Now, with that said, let's talk about some things that are now within the main branch or the main alpha branch of Blender 3.0. Starting off, there is now a support tile set that do not start from 1001 if you're working with UDIMS. Now, it doesn't mean that Blender wasn't able to do this before. It just makes sense to see that this artificial requirement has now been removed. Now, if you're working with any other 3D app of choice, you may want to stick with this particular rule. But if you're working with Blender, it sort of gives you that flexibility so you can work with this however you choose. And taking a look at what you can do now versus what you had before. So if you have like your UV tiles starting from 1001 here and there's nothing there, you might probably fall into some sort of error. But now you now have this going for you and this makes a lot of sense. Now, something else that makes a lot of sense is a couple of nodes have now been added to the geometry node. Now, the very first one is the add shader color mix node, which you can work with. And uh, this makes a lot of sense. And of course, there is also a brand new other node, which adds a UV smooth, a boundary smooth option to the subdivide node. Now, this is also very, very nice as this replaces the Boolean option for any menus for consistency with the subdivision modifier and adds all UV interpolation options and uh, you can see them right over here. Now, the folks at Blender Foundation are using the Z standard compression for both the sequence cache and also for your Blender files. Now, this just goes far to show you how much the folks at Blender Foundation are working to help you optimize your files and also your project. Now, with that said, let's talk about some things that was discussed within the Blender rendering meeting. So sometime last week, we mentioned this. Something that caught my attention within the cycle section of the rendering meeting note is what the folks at Facebook are trying to implement. Now, the folks at Facebook, they have actually made a patch to avoid copying of geometry arrays for cases like Alembic procedurals. But now they are looking at ways that you need to actually just reference these things from the memory instead of copying it. So this reminds me a lot of Clarice as it will help performance and also save you a lot of memory while you're working. There's also a couple of other things that you might want to see. The folks at AMD, they've also sent an initial code and an early driver for the heap implementation for CyclesX. And we also mentioned the fact that the folks at AMD, they've also released the USD Hydra add-on for Blender. Now allow you render your USD scenes. So you might want to also come through and read up on that. And uh, there's also this particular stuff here which I would also suggest that you come over to this page and check out the presentation on cycles that the folks at Tangent Lab were working on. Right now, everyone is still unsure if the implementation will go forward. Going to the fact that Tangent Admission Studio shut down recently, this sort of, you know, throws up a, a bit of mixed reaction. So link to this is going to be in the description so you can come through and check this one out for yourself. Now, with that said, let's talk about some community stuff. And of course, we know you guys love community stuff and we're going to get started by talking about the Blender market sales. So the Blender market sales or the Blender summer market sales is going on right now. And you can save up on 25% of anything that you want to get right here that is listed for sale. Now this is going to be running and sales will be ending on Monday, the 30th of August at exactly 11 59 p.m cdt time so you might want to come through and save up on all of the beautiful add-on asset materials and also scripts that you've always wanted to get as far as these things are listed for sale you can save up on 25 percent on any of them now with that said let's talk about some free stuff now i do know that you guys love free stuff and we will start off by talking about something that the folks at blender cloud are actually giving out so if you will always wanted to get free grease pencils you might want to come through and check this one out as within the week we've gotten a couple of extra grease pencils that you can grab now one that stands out is this picnic one by suzanne and this looks really really nice you might also want to come through and check it out and see some amazing things that you can do with this grease pencil resource once you download it 
and I will talk about three cool stuff that you might want to download. The folks at Bagapai. Now we mentioned this add-on before, beautiful add-on, caters to a lot of things, comes with a huge set of features, was in beta when we mentioned it and it's very interesting to see that right now Bagapai has been updated. Now the final release comes with an end panel for quick edits and we might probably just do a video about it and for sure if you want to come through and grab it, link is going to be in the description where you can check it out. Now this add-on is the Bicerate Blender Baker and you can use this to bake directly in Blender. You might also want to check out his gum road where you can see a couple of other things for free. You can see the big to vertex color. You can also get to play with the topology reference lizard creature. And of course, there is the test file that Daniel Bystadet has also made available. So just in case you want to test out this add-on with something or you're looking for an asset you can use to do the testing, this is right here. And a huge shout out to Daniel for making this possible. Now with that said, let's talk about something that the folks at Blender Cloud have actually done. So every single week, it turns out that they keep making good blogs that can help you become a better artist and this week we're looking at animation motivation and advice so this is a short walkthrough of the journey of gerald a 3d animator that hails from barcelona and it talks about how he got into animation a couple of advices for those who like to get into animation or maybe you're trying to get motivated he also goes through a little bit of a breakdown on how he works with the non-linear animation editor and also the annotation tool now there's also a couple of conversation that deals with how he works with different characters depending on where they exist within the scene and if you're also thinking about consistency there is a couple of advices and uh, a couple of motivational stuff that you can find right here now with that said for those who have been wondering about working with sketchup and you're thinking you know how can i bring in my sketchup files into blender there is this beautiful sketchup importer that we just talked about and you you can pick this up and start working with it. This allows you to import any SketchUp file directly into Blender and it comes with the material, comes with all of the groups and if you have cameras, you can also import those cameras in. And of course, this add-on is made available by the folks at Red Halo Studio and a huge shout out to them as well for making these things possible. And that's about it. Tons of things for you guys to go ahead and grab right now. And of course, for those who like to save up on 25% off, the Blender annual summer sale is going on so you can save up on all of the amazing things that is right here. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this, peace.